Medeiros, thank you. We're also continuing to follow a fast-moving brush fire burning in Fresno County. The so-called Slope Fire broke out at Pine Flat Lake around 3.30 this afternoon. The flames forced evacuations and road closures. CBS 47's A.J. Cotto live at Cal Fire in northeast Fresno. A.J. Cruz are still working on containment. Catherine, yes, at last update, the fire was 30 acres and 20% contained, but it does appear like crews are getting a handle on it. They say that they do expect full containment at some time tomorrow. A day on the lake quickly taking a frightening turn. I could see it breaking out, and it was just a small fire. By the time I tied my boat up and was off the dock, it was half the hillside. The fast moving wildfire slope fire burning in the area of Trimmer Springs and Sunny Slope Roads near Pine Flat Monday. While I was out here, there were rocks on fire, trees were catching fire and falling over. There was black smoke everywhere. Nathaniel Vasquez and his family watched as the fire erupted to about 30 acres near the marina. The flames quickly spread through the dry grass, threatening an estimated 5 to 10 homes. About 10 to 20 residents were evacuated while crews worked to get a handle on the situation, all while braving triple digit temperatures. We train in the heat, we try to acclimate. Our bodies and we work in the heat, uh, but it's always a challenge. The firefighters are out here today uh, with full gear on, uh, 30 to 40 pound backpacks. They're pulling the hose, they're carrying the gear with them. Uh, definitely a challenge. Seth Brown with Cal Fire says the holiday traffic delayed crews slightly, but air attacks were helpful with fire retardant tankers and water dropping helicopters utilizing the lake right beside them as crowds looked on. We were excited when they were, came in and took out all of it. We we're actually cheering for them. Hand crews were flown in with more than 50 firefighters responding. And Brown says they are still looking to see if any of the homes in the area have been damaged. And he also says that the cause of this fire is still under investigation. Reporting live in Fresno, AJ Cotto, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.